We know about the crackdown now underway by big tech on our freedom of speech. Facebook, the company, operates something called the hate speech engineering team. Now, how do they know how to censor hate speech? Well, at least half a dozen members of the in-house team are, in fact, Chinese nationals in this country on H-1B visas. They're in charge of developing algorithms to censor what you're able to think, what you're able to post on Facebook. They've been very active in the past few days. This is a remarkable story, and we're pleased tonight to be joined by the man who broke it. Saab Amari is an editor at the New York Post, and he joins us with details. Thanks for coming on tonight. Um, it, this is the kind of thing that if I saw it online, I'm not sure I would believe it. You've done extensive reporting on this. Tell us what you've learned. Well, this was thanks to a Facebook insider uh, who came forward last week, uh, a former employee who um, uh, was alarmed by this censorship that uh, Facebook, uh, that the New York Post suffered at the hands of Facebook. And he wanted to help us shed light on the people who are actually behind the mechanics of how stories get censored on, fa on Facebook. Um, and he shared with us uh, the full directory of the, of the people who work on this Orwellian named organization within Facebook uh, called Hate Speech Engineering. Most of them are based in Seattle, and as we learned, half of them are, uh, uh, so uh, I apologize, half a dozen of them are, at least half a dozen of them are Chinese nationals. Um, and so there's, that's such a, I mean, on the surface of it, it, it's alarming, but it's especially alarming because it's okay for tech workers to come from foreign countries. A lot of them want to settle here and become uh, uh, American citizens who share in the American dream. But as it is, many of them may not. Many of them may go back. So you wonder not only what expertise do they bring from the most censorious society on earth here, but then do they take their machine learning and algorithmic expertise back to help Xi Jinping uh, repress his own people? Well, exactly. I mean, this is not just any nation. And I think most people, even essentially immigration restrictionists like me, love to see immigrants come here and thrive and buy into the American idea. Of course we do. Every American loves that. But this is China. This is our main global rival. They consider us their main enemy. I mean, this seems like it has national security implications to me. I, I think it does. And another factor in, in all this is that they, um, uh, these people could uh, take back their expertise um, and uh, help their own people, uh, their own uh, Xi Jinping repress his own people. Yes. Has, has Facebook commented on this? I mean, there, there's such a, the, the symbolism in importing people from the most repressive big country on the, the planet to repress our population. I mean, what's, what's their explanation for this? Yeah, and especially, I mean, we brought up the fact that um, the stories that are getting reduced in circulation involve China, right? Because Hunter Biden is alleged to have made uh, financial deals with Chinese energy firms. Um, and so what do they have to say about it? And they said, look, we, we are proud to have a company with people from all over the world. Um, and any a uh, allegation that these people specifically um, uh, shape policy are, um, are absurd. 